न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स पार्ट थ्री लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव वन टू अंडरस्टैंड डाइजेशन इन हर्बी फोर्स टू टू अंडरस्टैंड डाइजेशन इन यूनिसेल्युलर एनिमल्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू वी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट डाइजेशन इन ह्यूमन बींग्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन फ्रॉम टेस्ट टू डाइजेशन इज वेरी लॉन्ग एंड इंटरेस्टिंग हैव यू एवर सीन अ काउचुइंग ऑल द टाइम डू यूनिसेल्युलर एनिमल्स लाइक एमिबा ऑल कैरी ऑन डाइजेशन लेट एस लुक फॉर आंसर्स टू सच क्वेश्चन थ्रू दिस वीडियो लुक दीदी लुक एट दीज काउस I see them every day. They keep chewing all the time. Do they keep eating all the time? Yes, Ravi. If someone will watch these cows, then it is obvious that they will think like you. The digestion process of grass-eating animals is different than human beings. Okay. How is that? Come on Ravi let us go to visit Ramu Kaka's cow shed he will explain the digestion process of grass eating animals in detail yes it is a good idea hello kaki is ramu kaka around no children he has gone to the town Okay Kaki today while returning back from school Ravi had a lot of questions regarding the digestion in cows hence i suggested that we visit the cow shed and ask Ramu Kaka about his questions Okay why don't you both wait for some time Ramu Kaka will be back soon Okay thank you Can we feed the cows meanwhile? <laughs> yes, sure, children. Come with me. Kaki takes Ravi and Rani to feed the cows. Look, Didi, these cows are chewing continuously. Yes, Ravi. Come let us ask Kaki about the digestion process in cows as she knows a lot about them. Yes, Didi, let us ask her. Look, Didi, there is this picture of digestion in cows hanging here. Kaki, can you tell us about this picture here? Rani look it has been shown what all a cow eats like grass corn leaves of green vegetables etc Look didi the cows have already eaten the grass we gave them Yes Ravi look they quickly swallow the grass Come children let us sit here I shall explain to you after swallowing the grass it gets collected in part of its stomach known as rumen Okay the digestive system of human beings does not have rumen isn't it kaki Yes you are right Ravi here the food gets partially digested and is known as cud later this cud returns to the mouth in small parts and the cow chews it look it has been shown in this drawing hmm oh that is why the cow continuously chews it chews on this cud Yes these animals are called ruminants and the process is known as rumination am i right kaki <laughs> Yes absolutely right rani What are the components found in grass kaki Man cannot eat grass isn't it 
grass contains cellulose. What is cellulose kaki? Cellulose is a kind of carbohydrate. Many animals including man cannot digest cellulose. Grass contains cellulose. So, is there any special part in grass eating animals like cow which helps them in digesting cellulose? Can I try and answer Ravi's question Kaki? Sure Rani. Ravi, there is a large sac like structure found in ruminants called rumen which is in between the small intestine and the large intestine. The cellulose is digested here. Okay, but how Didi? There are a certain type of bacteria present in the rumen which help in the digestion of cellulose which are not present in human beings. Very good Rani, you are very intelligent. Children, I think Ramu Kaka is going to get late. You must return home now as your mother must be worried as it is late. Yes, Kaki. Thank you. Wow, this is such amazing information. Isn't it, friends? Have you ever visited a cow shed? Can I look at your science book, Didi? Sure, Ravi. Here, take it. Didi, is this the picture of an amoeba? I have read that this is an unicellular organism. Do they also have a digestion process? Friends, amoeba is a unicellular organism found in water bodies. Yes, Ravi. Amoeba and other unicellular organisms also have a digestion process. This is amazing. Can you please tell me about it, Didi? Do you know, Ravi? There is a science exhibition in school tomorrow. There will be a lot of projects and experiments on display. A few of my classmates will show unicellular organisms like amoeba with the help of a microscope. You also come there with your friends and ask all your questions too. Wow, this is going to be so interesting. Friends, it is going to be so interesting in the science exhibition. There are going to be so many experiments on display. We will also be able to see the amoeba with the microscope. Next day in science exhibition. Hello Suraj Bhaiya, can I also see the amoeba? Sure Ravi, come here. Close your one eye and look through the lens with your other eye. Wow! This is exactly like the picture I saw yesterday in Rani Didi's science book. Suraj Bhaiya, can you please tell me about the digestion process in amoeba? Yes, sure Ravi. Amoeba is found in rivers, pond and other water bodies. Look, the digestion process of amoeba is shown in this drawing. Amoeba eats microscopic plants and animals which are found in water. Like we eat with our mouth and the process of taking in food is known as ingestion. Similarly, it is known as the same in amoeba. But Bhaiya, Amoeba does not have a mouth. Then from where does it eat? Ravi, Amoeba constantly changes its shape and position. Try and look at its position once again through the microscope. Bhaiya, there is a difference in its shape from what I saw earlier. Yes, Ravi. When it eats, it pushes out one or more finger-like projections known as pseudopodia for capture of food. Okay, it is very amazing information. 
Look, Bhaiya, there is a drawing of Pseudopodia in this poster, isn't it? Yes, Ravi. In this poster, we have depicted the digestion in amoeba. Look, then the food gets trapped in a food vacuole. Digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuole. They act on the food and break them into simpler substances. These are such microscopic organisms, but their digestion is similar to human beings. Yes, Ravi. That is why we cannot see them without the help of a microscope. Does absorption also takes place in amoeba? Yes, Ravi. Gradually, the digested food is absorbed. Do you know, Ravi? The absorbed food is used for growth and maintenance of the amoeba, and the undigested food is expelled through the vacuole. Oh. This means that the digestion process is similar in all, irrespective of the size of the animal. Yes, Ravi. The ingestion, digestion of food and the energy released is very important to carry on our daily functions and the other life processes. Thank you, Bhaiya. You helped me see the amoeba through the microscope and gave me such valuable information. So, friends, we hope that you have learned about the digestion of grass-eating animals, like in cow and unicellular animals like amoeba. Next time, when you see a cow chewing continuously, you would know why it is doing so. Okay, friends, we shall meet in our next video.